This is the first of a number of short videos I want to make uh, focusing on proof by contradiction. And so we're going to start with a pretty classic example of something where proof by contradiction is, is highly indicated. So the, what we want to show is there do not exist integers a and b that solve this equation, 15a plus 25b equals 1. And I've underlined that there do not exist because that's a really big clue that proof by contradiction is a good idea. Um, some people tend to say that you want to prove negative statements by contradiction. It's more like a, a, a non-existent statement is especially the kind of thing you want like to prove. Because usually in simple proofs we like to have some sort of objects or variables or quantities that we can actually manipulate specifically. And if we're talking about something not existing, that's kind of slippery. But if we take the negation of that, and we allow ourselves to assume that there are integers that were that satisfy this. Well, then we can say something about those putative, you know, hypothetical integers and manipulate equations and things like that, and then hopefully get a contradiction. Okay, so proof. Okay, so we're going to start out by assuming the negation of the conclusion here. Um, assume that there do exist. integers a and b and so symbolically we would say a and b are elements of the set of integers which is denoted by z with the kind of the two crossbars there um, with 15a plus 25b equals 1 and we could put if we wanted to make it even clearer assume for purposes of contradiction but that's kind of optional because if you start out any proof assuming the negation of the conclusion of what you want to prove it's clear it should be clear that that's why you're doing this not just because i just want to be contrary or weird okay so all right so now um, we're gonna we're assuming that there are these integers a and b that satisfy this and we want to be led to a contradiction Okay, um, but now what do we? What can we notice here? And that is that five divides fifteen. That's pretty key. Um, and notice I, I put the now here because I wanted to start a new sentence and really almost it's really kind of a new paragraph. And no, you never start. Um, a mathematical sentence with a symbol or a number really it's just it's nice to have some sort of connective word now 5 divides 15 and therefore if a is an integer that's just a whole number multiple of 15 um, that's certainly going to be a multiple of 5 and so it's going to divide 15 a and if a is negative that's okay it's 5 still going to divide that negative number just with a negative quotient now I'm skipping ahead a little bit in terms of absolute carefulness and rigor. Uh, we haven't focused on the idea of dividing, but it's a pretty simple concept, so I'm going to go with it. Okay. And 5 divides 25, and hence 25b. So 5 divides, oop, divides their sum. And we're going to be really super careful about proving that kind of thing as well. Okay. But 5 does not divide 1. Okay. There's our contradiction. We've assumed that these guys were going to be equal. So far, we're not. it's not a big deal. But now, since we're assuming 15a plus 25b is the same quantity as 1. 5 can't divide the same thing and not divide it. And that's a contradiction. And you usually indicate that by little two arrows opposing each other. You can even draw it by just putting a little x in a line. It's really two arrows opposing each other. Okay. There's our contradiction. And that's it. We could say something like, hence, by contradiction, we have proved that there do not exist. But it'd be a little bit uh, unnecessary.